Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited soldiers on the Kapiansk front in Kharkiv, Ukraine. On November 30, 2023, Ukrainian presidency Anatolia Ukraine is set present its peace plan to end war with Russia allied national security advisors in Switzerland on Sunday. As officials gather in the ski resort of Davos ahead of World Economic Forum, this is not first time Ukraine has presented its 10-point peace formula. But the hope in Kiev is that by winning over international partners to support its plan, Russia will put pressure on Kiev to accept terms for a cessation of hostilities. Russia did not attend meetings focused on peace proposals and criticized the latest talks in Malta in October, calling them anti-Russian and counterproductive. Russia's ally China, seen as one of the few countries that can influence Moscow's stance on Ukraine, also skipped the talks. It is unclear whether the last peace-focused summit will bear fruit. Political military experts say peace plans and future talks are currently wishful thinking at a time when war is in a very active phase neither side has gained the upper hand in conflict. Some people suggest that we may have reached a point where there is nothing that can be achieved on the battlefield anymore and so the only option is to sit down and negotiate. I think that's a fantasy. Professor Sam Green said. Russian politics at King's College London told CNBC, its true battlefield doesn't move very much in one direction or another. But the reality is that there are a lot of things going on on battlefield keep it exactly where it is. It's more of what both sides can and should achieve on the battlefield. It shows that you feel like a lot is going on. There is no sign of a political solution the Priorities in Ukraine's peace formula are withdrawal all Russian troops from its territory and the full restoration of territorial integrity before Russia's invasion almost two years ago and annexation Crimea in 2014. The release of all Ukrainian detainees, nuclear detainees, security, and food and energy security are also elements of the plan. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is preparing to use backdrop of annual economic forum in Davos to galvanize support for his peace formula as second anniversary of war approaches. A Ukrainian tank was destroyed by artillery shelling in Avdivka, Ukraine. On December 31, 2023, Pierre Krom News Ukraine's Western partners have reaffirmed their support for Kiev. But the outlook for continued military aid looks shaky in both the United States and Europe. Upcoming U.S. presidential elections could also change attitudes towards Ukraine and hinder funding. Concerns are growing about how much more aid Ukraine will need to turn the tide of the war after a highly anticipated counteroffensive failed to meet expectations. Fighting remains intense in southern and eastern Ukraine where Russian troops are deeply entrenched, preventing Ukrainian forces from making significant a uh, 